welcome back to first year geometry class today we are here to discuss about the uh, straight lines one of the most important to topic to study for physics as well as for trigonometry also in this topic we are going to discuss about uh, the basic fundamentals we decide that we discuss about the slope of a line and how the slope of a line can be calculated definition of it and uh, slopes of parallel lines slopes of perpendicular lines today let us discuss about uh, slope the main concept of today's topic is slope of a line dear students before discussing slope of a line first all students must know about angle of inclination of a line so what is meant by angle of inclination of a line so let us discuss about angle of inclination of a line <coughs> angle of inclination of a line before defining slope one should know or one must have correct idea of angle of inclination of a line once if you are aware of angle of inclination of a line it will be it is very easy to define slope of a line so let us start with angle of inclination of a line yes friends so these are the two coordinate axes this x axis y axis and this is the origin if a straight line if a straight line makes an angle theta with the positive x axis if a straight line makes an angle theta if a straight line makes an angle theta with the positive x axis in positive direction and lies in the interval lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees then this angle theta is called angle of inclination of the line or just call it as inclination of a line so i repeat this sentence once again i repeat this angle of inclination once again angle of inclination of of the line if a line makes an angle theta with the positive x axis measured in positive direction lies between the interval 0 to 180 degrees here is 0 is included and 180 is not included then angle theta is called angle of inclination of the line or then theta is called simply inclination of the line but here one thing you have to understand properly the inclination or inclination of the li line always lies between 0 to 180 degrees for all horizontal lines angle of inclination will be always 0 degrees so let us once again come back to the final status angle of inclination of a line can be defined like this angle of inclination of a line is the angle of the line with the positive x axis measured in positive direction lies in the interval 0 to 180 where i have written this lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees then the angle theta is going to be called as angle of inclination of the line once if the angle of inclination of the line is confirmed then we define slope slope or gradient slope or gradient usually denoted by m slope or gradient of a straight line slope or gradient of a straight line so here <coughs> dear students once again here again we came to know this clearly this line making an angle theta with the positive x axis and measured in positive direction and lies 
in the interval 0 to 180, then this angle is going to be called as angle of inclination of the line. But always angle of inclination will be measured from the positive x axis and uh, it will be from positive x axis measured in positive direction. So, let us again dear students we will discuss about now, let us define slope of a straight line, let us define slope of a straight line. So, now <coughs> slope or gradient of a straight line, let us first consider this is the straight line, clearly we are observing this line has inclination what theta to define here the slope of the slope of any line the slope is already easily we know that slope of a, any line depends on opposite side and adjacent side the slope of a line always depends on opposite side and adjacent side hence to define slope we always use the tan function or cot so tan and cot are reciprocals to each other so let us define a line whose inclination is theta then to find out slope of that line tangent of inclination tangent of inclination of the line is called slope of a line. So, let me once again define what is slope of a straight line. A line whose inclination is theta then tangent of the inclination of that line is called slope of the line or gradient of the line. So, let me write clear definition here the slope of a straight lines. <coughs> so, here once again this x axis and y axis as a origin a line whose inclination is theta whose inclination is theta then slope of this line slope of this line can be calculated by using tan of inclination of the line tan of inclination of the line. So, usually slope is denoted by m and slope has no units purely it is a real number. So, finally, we came to know that slope always again slope depends on inclination of the line, slope depends on inclination of the line. So, this is the definition of slope. So, let me write clear definition once to define slope of a straight line. <coughs> so, definition of definition of slope of a line, slope of a line. If a line whose inclination is, whose inclination is, if a line whose inclination is theta, then tan of theta is called tangent of the inclination tan theta is called slope of the line, slope of the line and slope is slope of a line is always denoted by m and slope of a line has no units. So, you cannot give any units to the slope of a line purely because tangent of an angle is a purely real number therefore, it is a scalar quantity it has simply a scalar quantity it has no units. So, dear students once again I will just preview the concept what all we have discussed so far simply. First angle of inclination of a line, a line makes an angle theta with the positive x axis measured in positive direction lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees is called inclination of the line. If you know the inclination of the line to find out slope of a line, tangent of the inclination gives the slope of the line or slope is also called as gradient of the line. So, let us discuss some simple examples and uh, small basic things how to find out slopes of a lines, different lines. So, here once again <coughs> let us start with this simple example. <coughs> here this x axis, y axis and origin a line 
whose inclination is 30 degrees whose inclination is 30 degrees to find out slope the slope is equal to tan 30 tan 30 degrees therefore slope is equal to that is m is equal to 1 by root 3 slope of a line if a line makes an angle or if a line whose inclination is 30 degrees then the slope can be defined as tangent of the inclination that is here the inclination is 30 degrees therefore tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 similarly some more examples in the different forms we can define how to find out the slope of a straight line so small diagram, diagram point of view the simple examples i am going to give you how to find out slope of a line if a line whose inclination is 45 degrees then the slope of this is tan of 45 that will be equal to 1 and similarly we can go for this x axis and y axis and origin if a line whose inclination is 60 degrees then slope is equal to tan 60 degrees therefore m is equal to root 3 but here on the small just additional point you try to understand if this vertex of this angle this is the point is called vertex of this angle if this vertex is coincide with the origin then this angle is also said to be in standard position then this angle is also said to be in standard position most of the trigonometric functions we keep the angles in the standard position but whereas in the geometry just we consider angle of the line with the positive x axis to define slope of a line so if the inclination is 30 degrees slope is 1 by root 3 if the inclination is 45 degrees the slope is 1 if the inclination is 60 degrees the slope is root 3 here clearly we can observe clearly we can understand that if the inclinations are acute angle so here one must be able to understand what is acute angle angle which is above 0 below less than 90 degrees if the inclination is acute angle then the slope is clearly positive here the slope is always positive this is the one simple note you just make it then automatically if the since the inclination will we have a chance to use the inclination up to 180 degrees therefore the inclination may come in also in second quadrant up to 180 degrees that is in tan as very simple we know that in second quadrant tan is negative and clearly if the inclination is positive if the inclination is acute angle then slope is positive if the inclination is obtuse angle then the slope is negative so how we can define uh, different if the when the how to find out slope of a line if the inclination is obtuse angle so before going to start before going to take up this obtuse angle now let us once again consider two simple things as uh, we know that every straight line has slope then x axis and y axis are also lines then they must have slopes how to find out slope of a x axis slope of x axis so today we will discuss about slope of x axis let us complete first and similarly we will discuss about slope of y axis that we will see what happens slope of x axis and slope of y axis here look at the simple fundamental here x axis y axis and origin so clearly as we know that a line whose inclination is theta then the slope is what tan of theta this is the basic definition we are aware of this definition also but if this line so just gradually if it is reduces the angle theta then when this line coincide with x axis angle theta becomes zero please once again try to understand if this line just coincide with x axis then the angle theta becomes zero so when the line becomes x axis therefore slope of x axis will be tan of zero therefore tan zero is zero Dear students, always remember slope of x axis is always 0 or, or also inclination of any horizontal lines will be taken as always 0 degrees. 
since horizontal line's inclination is zero, then definitely slope will be tangent of inclination. Tan zero is equal to zero. So x-axis slope of x-axis is always zero. And here one more point: all the students have to remember, slope of a line does not depends on size or that is length of the line. Slope of a line always depends on inclination of the line, not on the size of the line. Line. So similarly, now we discuss about slope of y-axis now. So let me here write this. <clears throat> so this is x-axis. Sorry, this is y-axis and this is x-axis. This is y-axis and this is x-axis and origin. Clearly, just observe this. Here y-axis is the line which whose inclination is theta degrees. Whose sorry, whose inclination is directly 90 degrees, right? Once again, try to understand this. Here y-axis is the line whose inclination is 90 degrees. So then to define slope, so tan of 90 degrees, as we know that tan 90 degrees is infinity or it's called not defined. Actually, speaking in real terms, this vertical line will be called as perpendicular, not slope. Slope means, usually in general meaning, slope means a line should be somewhat inclined. It is oblique. But here, the slope of y-axis is not defined. Slope of y-axis because y-axis makes, y-axis whose inclination is 90 degrees. In order to the definition of slope, slope of any line is tan of inclination, but for y-axis here inclination is 90 degrees, therefore tan 90 degrees is not defined, it is infinity. So these two things you try to understand. So once again for your reference, I am going to give the simple x-axis slope is always 0 and y-axis slope is always not defined or infinity. You can also write not defined. Here later on, we will have one more discussion for two slopes of two perpendicular lines. That time we will clear about this. This product of these two lines must be equal to minus 1. So later on stages we will try to clear this point. So this is the fundamental basics. You remember it. Before defining any slope of a line, one must be, one, one should have clear idea about inclination of the line. But inclination is the angle of a line with the positive x-axis measured in positive direction, it is always lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees. And always inclination of any horizontal lines will be taken as 0, since x axis is the horizontal line, therefore is inclination I have taken it as 0, therefore slope is equal to tan of 0. Here y axis is a line which is whose inclination is 90 degrees, therefore slope of this line is equal to tan of 90 degrees which is not defined. Dear students, I hope you understood the basics fundamental definition of slope of a line. Now let us move on to slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let us first let us uh, start with slopes of parallel lines. Okay, slopes of parallel lines. Here slopes of parallel lines. Slopes of parallel lines. This is the one of the important idea all the students should know about uh, well before handling the different types of lines, slopes of parallel lines, slopes of perpendicular lines, how they will be and what is the condition for perpendicularity and the condition for parallel lines also. So let us start with this. So let us simple is think that my both hands I kept on horizontal line. This is the horizontal line, both hands. As clear you are observing that these two lines are parallel. Definitely, if I tilt these two lines, then definitely the inclinations are what? Same. So, if it is inclinations of both the lines are same, suppose if this inclination is theta, then definitely this inclination is also what? Theta. Therefore, the slope of first line is tan theta, second line slope is also tan theta. Clearly, we understand, clearly we observe that if the two lines are parallel, if the two lines are parallel, then their slopes are always equal. So once again note down this, if the two lines are parallel, then their slopes are always equal. Suppose if M1 and M2 are the 
slopes of the lines. These lines will be parallel only if m1 and m2 are equal that is m1 is equal to m2. So, let us simply the small diagram I will try to explain this how to find out slopes of parallel lines. So, here thing is let us take two parallel lines line 1 and line 2. So, this is the line 1 and here this is line 2. So, these two lines are parallel. So, this is line 1 and this is line 2. Suppose, if inclination of line 1 is theta, definitely inclination of line 2, line 2 must be also theta because as they are parallel lines. I told you know, both the hands I kept on horizontal line, then definitely if they are parallel, their inclinations will be same. So, clearly the slope of first line m is equal to tan theta. So, to avoid confusion, we take first line slope is m1 and the slope of second line m2 is equal to tan theta and therefore, clearly we are observing m1 is equal to m2, m1 is equal to m2. So, just make a small note here, clearly once again I will explain this part. If the two lines are parallel, if the two lines are parallel, then their slopes are always equal. That is, if m1 and m2 are the slopes of the lines, these lines will be parallel only if m1 is equal to m2, only if m1 is equal to m2. I hope you just clear the concept of slopes of parallel lines. So, any two parallel lines definitely their slopes will be equal or conversely, if the slopes are equal, then definitely lines must be parallel. So, now let us discuss some more items like. So, here once again, I will get back to the point of slopes only. Look at, clearly we came to know this, we have, we came to know that the x axis slope is always what? 0, x axis slope is always 0. Then now, the question arises, if any line, if all the lines, some lines are parallel to x axis. Suppose, if the lines are parallel to x axis, then definitely we just now, we have discussed about if the lines are parallel, then their slopes are what? Equal. Then definitely, for all lines, the slope will be 0. For all the parallel lines, x axis, for all the lines which are parallel to x axis, whose slopes are always 0. So, try to understand, just remember this, make a note here slope of any line parallel to x axis will be taken as always 0. Slope of any line parallel to x axis will be taken as 0. Now, we will discuss about once again another condition here like. So, again for y axis, this is x axis and this is y axis origin. We know that for y axis the slope is not defined infinity, then definitely any line parallel to y axis, any line parallel to y axis means perpendicular to x axis also we can take. Again the same condition I use, if the lines are parallel then their slopes are equal. Here y axis slope is infinity means definitely these all slopes will be infinity that is not defined, the slope of this line is not defined. So, again here also make a simple note, any line parallel to y axis whose slope is always not defined or take m is equal to slope is equal to infinity for any line which is parallel to y axis. Hope you understood, you have just cleared the concepts of parallel slope, inclination, slope and slopes of x axis, y axis and parallels. Dear students, let us discuss about slopes of perpendicular lines. It's a most important concept. Once again, how to define, what is the condition, how to define slopes of perpendicular lines and what are the condition for two lines to be perpendicular. So, slopes of perpendicular lines. <coughs> slopes of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. Lines. 
slopes of perpendicular lens. So let us. But before discussing slopes of perpendicular lens, that the condition, the definition, whatever I am going to discuss will be applicable for all the perpendicular lines except the lines which is which are horizontal and vertical. Because vertical line slopes are not defined, so that clearly the concept which we are discussing about perpendicular lines, two lines we cannot consider two lines perpendicular like horizontal and vertical. This cannot be considered in our discussion. You are free to take any perpendicular lines other than horizontal and vertical lines. And two lines cannot be perpendicular to each other where the one line is horizontal and other line is perpendicular. So, let us now discuss. So, clearly first let me complete the statement now. Suppose this is the one straight line and this is the another straight line. Sure, they are not parallel. Both the lines are not parallel and vertical. And that means both the lines, any one line is not parallel to x axis and other line is par not parallel to y axis. So, these are two perpendicular lines I have taken. If the two perpendicular lines, suppose this is the line 1 slope is m and line 2 slope is m2. If the two lines are perpendicular, then their product is always equal to minus 1. That is, this is the condition. Let us prove it. M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. Dear students, once again, now I will give the statement, simple statement first. If the two lines are perpendicular, if the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1. Suppose product of the two, product of the slopes is not equal to minus 1. It is very clear that two lines are not perpendicular. Finally, in, the, in later stage, definitely we will make this one is a condition for two lines to be perpendicular. Here, once again, let, let me explain. If the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1, except the lines which are horizontal and vertical. Why? Because if any line is vertical, that is perpendicular to x axis are perpendicular to horizontal where its slope is not defined. You cannot multiply and prove that the product is minus 1. Or indirectly we can say that some of the teachers they may ask you x axis slope is as because according to this definition and the slopes are if the two lines are perpendicular then the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. Then some teachers will ask x axis slope is 0 and y axis slope is infinity multiply and prove it minus 1. No, this is not applicable. And this is applicable or indirectly strictly this is applicable wherever the slopes of two lines are properly defined. But in this case y axis slope is not defined. Therefore, this condition will not work out for x axis and y axis or any lines which are parallel to x axis and parallel to y axis which are perpendicular to each other. Let us now. So, let me complete this. Once again, I will before going to start through this uh, simple condition. Let me explain this part. If the two lines are perpendicular, if the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1. If the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1. So, let us start with this simple derivation. I will just start with simple derivation now. <laughs> So, consider this is y axis and this is x axis, x axis, y axis. So, let us take first this is the line AB, this line AB, this line AB. So, assume that whose inclination is theta, whose inclination is theta and take one more line, this is CD line, this is CD which is clearly, this diagram is not up to the scale clearly. This is perpendicular, you think that this is perpendicular to each. This is the line is CD. So, this is 90 degrees. So, first this AB line and CD line are perpendicular to each other. But see that these two lines cannot be horizontal and vertical. See that these two lines cannot be horizontal and vertical. Here, this AB and CD lines are perpendicular to each other. And let us assume that angle line AB, the line AB whose inclination is theta. And as we know that in any triangle, the sum of two interior angles is always equal to 
exterior angle. This will be what? 90 degrees plus theta. Please try to understand. Here, consider two perpendicular lines AB and CD where AB and CD are perpendicular to each other as shown in the diagram. But here, let us take theta be the inclination of the line AB. Inclination means you are aware that a line of the line, angle of the line with the positive x axis measured in positive direction between the interval 0 to 180. As these two lines are perpendicular, here it is 90 degrees. Then as in any right, in a triangle, sorry, in any triangle, the sum of the two interior angles is always equal to exterior. Dear students, once again, you have clearly observed that. The AB inclination is theta. If you take AB inclination is theta, then automatically the inclination of the line CD will be 90 degrees plus theta. Okay. First assume that slope of AB will consider as M1 and slope of CD is considered as M2. Definitely it is our duty to find out. First you find out M1 and find out M2 and after that multiply them and you have to show that their product is equal to minus 1 because here the two lines AB and CD are perpendicular to each other. Dear students, once again, let us start now. <coughs> let M1 be the slope of line AB, slope of line AB. And clearly from diagram, M1 is equal to tan theta. And yes, M2 be the, M2 be the slope of line CD, line CD. Here clearly we have considered two perpendicular lines. We have to find out M1 and we have to find out M2 and it is our duty to show that M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1 because they are perpendicular lines. If the two lines are perpendicular, again I am repeating, if the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1. So, M2 be the slope of the line CD. So, what is M2 now? So, M2 is equal to slope of CD. Slope of CD is equal to tan 90 degrees plus theta. But it is already, we know that tan 90 plus theta is equal to minus cot theta as allied angles 90 plus theta comes in second quadrant tan is negative tan is negative. So, now we have to multiply, now we have to multiply m1 into m2 is equal to, what is m1 here? tan theta into minus cot theta. But here tan theta into minus, tan theta can be written as 1 by cot theta, sorry, cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta by using reciprocal relation and tan theta tan theta gets cancelled, this will be equal to minus 1. Therefore, m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. Dear students, make a note here once again. Clearly, if it is very clearly, I will explain. So, please make a small note here. If the two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1. This condition is applicable only for the lines or it is applicable except lines which are horizontal and vertical. So, here clearly we have taken two perpendicular lines AB and CD. First line slope is clearly it shows the tan theta, second line slope is tan nt plus theta. We know that tan nt plus theta is equal to minus cot theta. And m1 is equal to tan theta, m2 is equal to minus cot theta. Therefore, their product tan theta into minus cot theta, tan theta into cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta. Tan theta gets cancelled minus 1. So, again, if the small note here, if m1 and m2 are the slopes of the lines, these lines will be perpendicular only if m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. And conversely, if m1 into m2, the product of the slopes of two lines are is equal to minus 1, then definitely two lines are perpendicular to each other. Hope this is the one basic fundamentals of slope of a line. Let me just 
discuss with small example with you how to find out slope of a lines hope on second i'll review the things what all we have discussed now before defining slope we must know inclination of the line so clearly in short terms a fast review inclination is the angle of a line with the x the positive x axis measured in positive direction lies in the interval 0 to 180 degrees in the diagram i have given the interval properly so 0 i put square bracket and 180 degrees is small bracket i think you will be learning open interval closed interval half open half intervals in the first chapter of your syllabus if the theta is the inclination simply directly slope is equal to tangent of inclination and uh, if the inclination is acute angle then definitely slope is positive if the inclination is obtuse angle that slope is negative since all horizontal lines whose inclination will be always 0 degrees therefore x axis is a line parallel x axis is a x axis is also a line which is horizontal therefore its slope can be calculated by tan 0 therefore tan 0 is equal to 0 y axis whose inclination will be 90 degrees therefore tan 90 degrees is equal to infinity or not define slope of y axis is not defined slopes of all the lines parallel to x axis will be taken as zero slopes of all the lines which are parallel to y axis cannot be can be sorry slopes of y axis slopes of all the lines parallel to y axis is always not defined and if the again comes to the point slopes of perpendicular parallel lines if the two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal if the two lines are perpendicular other than x axis and y axis are other than any perpendicular lines which are horizontal and vertical then the product of their slopes is always equal to minus 1 so let me come let me just uh, solve a small example couple of examples for you look at this find the slope of the line whose inclination find the slope of the line whose inclination is 150 degrees whose inclination is same so very directly m is equal to tan of 150 degrees as we know the definition of slope what if you know the inclination put directly tan of inclination gives the slope so tan and you can go 90 plus 60 or Yes, as usual, you can go for it. Uh, 90 plus 60. That will be minus cot 60 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root. 2. So here 90 plus 60, we can write 1 is 90 is 1 is 1 times of 90 odd number. And further in trigonometry also, we'll study the salient angles or related angles. We'll be studying this. Therefore, uh, cot 60. tan 60 we know that root 3 therefore cot 60 will be 1 by root 3 90 plus 60 comes in second quadrant tan is negative there so one another example so let us so sometimes you will ask the questions like this find the equation of the line sorry sorry find the slope of the line slope of the line which makes which makes an angle 225 degrees with the positive x axis with the positive x axis dear students there's a small change in this problem please read the question once again properly find the slope of the line which makes an angle 225 degrees with the positive x axis here every most of the students they come in. of course sometimes you may get the value but you have to work with properly 225 degrees cannot be called as inclination of course 225 degree comes in third quadrant there will not be any change in the value but that is not right so to solve this problem first what is inclination always we are clear that inclination is the angle lies between 0 and 180 degrees look okay. at so this is the diagram how we can take now <coughs> x axis y axis for it so 0 and 180 plus 45 that is 225 degrees it comes here this is 225 degrees 
this is 225 degrees that means this angle will be only the quant magnitude of this angle is 45 degrees because 180 so it will be like this 0 90 180 and plus 45 this. if i extend this line further in this case definitely if this is 45 degrees then definitely this will be 45 now clearly it shows that since the if the whenever the angle line makes an angle 225 degrees with the positive x axis the inclination will be 45 degrees up to this inclination means what we always take inclination of the angle must be within the range what 0 to 180 225 degrees cannot be taken of course mathematically if you solve both the you know, tan of 225 and tan 45 both gives the same value but you have to be very you have to solve it in traditional way you cannot move out of this inclination definition so if the line here it is clearly it is making 225 degrees means this is the quantity is 45 degrees then definitely this will be 45 degrees so please in this example please try to understand if a line makes an angle 225 degrees with the positive x axis then definitely inclination of this line will be 45 degrees now so here the solution is like this. so inclination inclination that is theta is equal to 45 degrees only now slope is equal to tan 45 which is equal to so clearly once again even in trigonometry point of view tan 225 also gives one only but you cannot use the angle which is greater than 180 degrees as an inclination hope you understand this problem once again in this example particular so first one is 150 degrees so directly we can take it as inclination therefore i have taken tan of 150 but if a line makes an angle 225 degrees that time if you draw the systematic diagram definitely the inclination of the line will become 45 degrees so therefore slope of the line is taken as tan 45 therefore tan 45 is equal to 1 again you remember that slope has purely a real number it has no units slope of a line has no units. and remember slope of a line always depends on inclination not slope never depends on the size of the line that is length of the line thank you dear students in the next class we will be discussing about slopes of a slope of a line joining two points and the problems based on that then we will go for equations of straight lines.